Hello Wally's Eco Buddies. Today we are going to get crafting. Now in the next couple of videos Wally's going to set you all challenges and in order to keep track of your progress we're going to have a chart. Not a star chart because they're a bit boring. We're going to have a ladybird chart. Now we're going to start off by showing you what you need to get ready and then we'll stop the video while you get everything there and then we'll come back and I'll show you how you're going to make it. Now remember Eco Buddies are respectful. They don't just respect nature, they respect other people too. So please make sure if you use your mom or your grown-up's table that you have some form of protection over it so you don't make a mess and you're going to clean up after you've done all your craft work. You don't leave it for somebody else to do. Now I have a cutting mat but if I didn't have a cutting mat I wouldn't tell mom to go out and buy a new one. I'd put a piece of newspaper or an old sheet or something just to protect the table. Remember you're not going to tell your mom to go and buy stuff. We're going to recycle. So what do you need? Well, you need glue, and it doesn't matter what brand you have. You're going to need a pair of scissors. Now, some children might not be confident with using scissors yet. So please, if you're very little and you need help, ask a grown-up to help you with the cutting out part of things. I don't want you poking your eyes out or cutting yourself. You're going to need a pencil. A felt tip marker, can you see that? A felt tip marker. And some round shapes in different sizes. Now I've got washers, I'll show them to you. There we go, you can see the washers. But if you don't have a dad or an uncle who's good at woodworking, you can use lids of all different sizes, maybe a milk bottle top, or this is the glue stick lid, all different, just get three different sizes, uh, pennies, anything like that will do. Then some leaves. These are leaves that have just fallen off my tree and you'll see they're all in different sizes. I've got some big ones and some smaller ones and we're going to use those as templates. Now we come to the cardboard and the paper supplies. Now I'm a collector. I collect old boxes. There's an old rusk box. You know, they have such lovely colours on them that we can use all that for so many different things. And if you turn them the other way round, you've got that lovely brown, all a uniform, it's so useful. Today I'm going to be using a Salty Cracks box because it's green. Now I know that there are children here watching from all over the world and you may not have a Salty Cracks box. So look around and see in your pantry or your mom's kitchen and ask her what has she got in a box that's got green colouring in it. If you don't have green, don't stress, because you can do something like the, the rusk, which has got shades of orange and brown, and you can make your tree that we're going to be making in autumn shades. So don't stress, life is too short to stress. If you don't have a box, you want some other things, I've got little offcuts of wallpaper that I use. I've got a selection of odds pieces of cardboard and different colors and thicknesses. What about some old wrapping paper? This is a gift bag which is really too, too creased and too ruffled to use again, but it's such a pretty material. And then magazines, they're a great thing as well for cutting out. Um, I'll be cutting a little bit out of magazines. Now, that's the basics. If you're lucky and you've got felt tip pens and maybe paint sets, or colouring in crayons, you can use those as well. I'm just going to show you the basics, but you can make it as beautiful and as complicated as you want. Please, something I must tell you right now, is that the Eco Buddies don't compete with one another. We're all completely unique, wonderful pieces of individuals. So your art is not going to be the same as mine. It's not going to be the same as your brother and sister. And you know what? That's how it should be because you must do your own work and it must be a reflection of your personality. So I'll show you how to do it and from there you can go wild. And at the end of this video, there's a link to my website and if you want, you can ask your mum and dad or a grown up to help you and maybe you can send me a picture of your beautiful works of art and then I can show the other children what you've done. Right, have you all got all your equipment together? Because if you have, we're going to start, and we're going to start off by making the tree trunk on which we're going to attach the leaves that we're going to put the ladybirds onto. Now I'm starting with a 
bit of a battered piece of A4 cardboard. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Remember, we're recycling. And I'm going to take my Koki pen or my felt tip pen and I'm going to draw a long, thin triangle. It's going to be thicker on the one side. Can you see that? I might have to go over it again. Thicker on the one side than it is on the other side. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. We're then going to draw branches coming off. And we're going to have 10 in total. So one, also triangles, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that one's ten. Do you see it doesn't matter if they're not exactly the same? The ones at the bottom are slightly bigger than the ones at the top. Now, you could leave your tree looking like that, I quite like it when the branches have got a little bit of movement, so I normally take my pen and I just make some rough marks around it. I don't know. So it's not perfect. I should have done that in another colour, but you'll get the idea what I mean. And then when I'm finished with that, I'm going to take my pair of scissors and if you need help with them a grown-up, please ask a grown-up and I'm going to just cut it out. And I'm not going to be too careful or too worried about staying in the lines because I want my branches to look a little bit natural. And really, if you look at real life, no tree is made out of perfect triangles. Some of the branches are all higgledy-piggledy and they go all different ways. Okay, I fast forwarded a little bit because you know quite well how to cut out a shape. And there is my tree trunk. Now this is the template that I'm going to be using. If you like the plate, if you like it white, you like your template, there's no reason why you can't use that. But I'm going to put it on top of my rusk box because I want it to be nice and brown. And I'm very, very carefully going to trace around the outline. If you're confident with drawing and cutting out, there's no reason why you can't do this directly onto the con cardboard. But I think most children like tracing around. I know I do. It gives me more confidence if I have a template to work to. So there is my template. And now I'm going to cut this out, this shape out. Can you see it? I'm going to be take, cutting that out nicely. And that's going to be my tree. So. Here is my tree trunk all cut out. By mistake, I actually cut it in half. I don't know what I was thinking of, but never mind. It will be fine like that. I'm not going to stress too much. I've got this beautiful piece of paper. Um, it was an off cut of wallpaper, and I'm going to be using that as my base color to put my tree trunk onto. And then just with my Pritt glue, I'm going to just in fact, it's not Pritt, it's Croxley, and it doesn't matter what glue you use. I'm not punting any brands. I'm going to stick it. And because I'm a silly billy and I cut it in half, I'm going to have a little join there. It doesn't matter. No one will know and no one will care. There. How? cute does that look already? I think that looks lovely. I'm just going to press it down. Good. That can go to one side. And now my Salty Cracks box. Now I've chosen Salty Cracks because it's got a lovely green box, but you can use any box that you have. Oats is fine. I don't know. Maybe you're in a country where what, your dog food might come in 
green cardboard boxes. I don't know, but just so long as it's green. And it doesn't matter that it's got writing on. The only thing is when you trace around your leaves, try not to put it so that it's got a lot of writing over the needle because you want it to be sort of look more or less uniform. So I'm going to trace around my different shaped leaves, arrange them as best as I can. There's my pen, here we go. And I'm going to make two of each color of each size. Can you see clearly what I'm doing? These are nice big ones. And then when I've got 10 in total and Two big ones, two medium size, a little bit smaller, and then the others can be so it's graduated. The biggest ones at the bottom and the small ones are going to go at the top. It's also a good idea if you're working with Koki Pen to draw on the reverse side if you don't want to smudge it. But I'm going to be very careful and I'm not going to smudge. I'm just going to cut carefully around my shapes so I have my leaves. Right, you can see I've cut out all of my leaves now and I'm going to now glue them on. Now, I always like to arrange them first so I sort of have some idea of where they're going. I'm going to put the biggest ones at the bottom, put the medium ones in the middle, I've got one extra. There we are. No, that's fine. There we are. Let's put that one there. What do you think? Shall we put that thin one there and that little lead at the top? Do you think that looks good? I think we could maybe put that there. You just play around with them until you are happy with the way they look and then you're going to glue them on again. This is a fun project. If you didn't want to cut up boxes, you could draw your own. There's no reason why you can't draw your own tree. But I just like cutting and gluing, so that's why we're cutting and gluing. You could even do leaf imprints by painting the back of a real leaf and putting it on to paper. Anyway, I'm going to carry on gluing and then I'm going to show you the next stage, how to make the ladybirds. So here is my tree, all nicely finished, and I'm going to now show you how to make the ladybirds. Whoops, that one hasn't been coloured in yet, I'm going to still show you how to do that. There's a coloured in one, make another one, we have lots and lots of ladybirds for our colourful tree. But now, just as a little added extra, if you think it looks a little bit bare at the bottom or you want to dicky it up a little bit, you can go through a magazine and cut out little pictures of flowers or grass or you could get creative and draw your own and you could maybe glue them on the bottom like that just to give it a little bit more shall i turn it around do you think you can see that just to give it a little bit more interest and something else, a little extra dimension there. But you don't have to, you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to just now, but at the moment, I'm gonna show you how to make our ladybirds. So remember in our list, I asked you to get a whole lot of circle shapes. Now I'm using washers just because my husband does a lot of woodwork and a lot of metalwork and he has a whole lot of washers of different sizes and they're very nifty to use and they're easy to use but if I didn't have that I could just run around the house and see look for other shapes this is the glue would be absolutely fine the lid of the glue you could find maybe the lid of a milk bottle so long as you have three different sizes so I'm gonna pennies some countries 
you have dollars or pennies, I don't know. We have rands and cents, but a five rand coin and a one rand coin and a 20 cent piece would be absolutely fine for this. But I'm going to use the washers. Now I like, this is a piece of an off cut of card, but you can use something. Your oat boxes have, are red, so you can just look around for a nice red cardboard. And I just draw circles. Now we had 10 leaves. So we're going to need 10 ladybirds. And if you want to make some extra in case you think you might lose some, you do that too. So I'm drawing around in the different sizes. I'm just going to do one for now. And because I'm not sure that you can see the pencil, I'm going to go around it in a felt tip pen so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. There we go. And I want my ladybird to have a head. So can you see what I've done? I've made a circle and I've given him a head. And I'm going to cut that out. With my pair of scissors. Being careful not to cut myself or poke myself in the eye. I don't know why I'm so worried. You lot are clever people. You wouldn't do something silly like that, would you? Would you? Okay. Of course you wouldn't. Right. So here is my ladybird shape from the other side. Just cut out. There it is. Can you see? Cut out. So I'm going to get my marker again right you'll see I've made a little V I've made a line and another little V and I'm going to color those in black so the head is going to get colored in black with my felt tip pen a little triangle and a little triangle at the bottom. So that it looks like that. Can you see? Do I need to put it with the white background? There we are. That's better, isn't it? So you can see. And then I just have to draw on some dots. I'll just put two on this one. Would you like me to show you how to do that again or are you okay with it? Let me just go through it. So we're going to draw our circle. We're going to put on our little head. We're going to color our head in that little triangle, draw a line down to a smaller triangle and then our dots. Easy peasy pudding pie. And you're going to make 10 of these all different sizes. Some with two dots. Some with three dots, you see what you can do. So here's our tree all finished. And remember, your tree won't be exactly the same as mine because you're a unique, special person and your tree will be unique and special. You will have your 10 little ladybirds. And as we finish one of Wally's eco challenges, we'll be able to put a ladybird on each leaf so we can keep track of our progress. I hope you've had fun doing this. Remember you need to go and tidy up after yourself now and if you want to send me a picture of your beautiful artwork you can do so. Remember the links are right at the end of the video and we'll see you soon. Remember don't stick on your ladybirds yet, just keep them in a safe place. Have a wonderful week! Bye.